I bring in all the wishes to you, Dr. Ranjit Reddy Kurala, for scoring rank number 4 in CML and rank number 10 in AML in MCH Plastic Surgery Speciality. Congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So, can we know a brief background history from where you started your career until date? Uh, sir, I did my MBS from Apollo Medical College, Hyderabad, and my MS from Gandhi Medical College, Hyderabad. So, after this, uh, I started, I just completed my MS in this June, sir. I started working as an SR in a district hospital as a part of bond uh, for about two months. I stopped it one month back. Great. Interest for plastic surgery started when? Uh, actually, I was not sure, sir. Till my till the end of my MS, I was not sure what brands what brands to choose. But uh, what happened was uh, when I was in my second year, I was not able to attend plastic and uh, CT waste posting properly because of COVID. Our full our college was shut down because of COVID and only COVID care was going on. So I wanted to know about plastic surgery. So I joined as an observer in Kim's hospitals in Kondapur in Hyderabad only. So I did an observership for two months after my MS. Then I got to know that this is the branch that I want to do. <laughs> I want I want to have my future in this branch only. Book. Great. So once you decided then when you started preparation, how you started and what uh, you to achieve this? So, as you know, like uh, many of the students start preparing right from the second year only, sir. But uh, when I was in my final year, I realized that uh, I didn't have any specific option to follow. So, I thought I'll concentrate on my MS first. So, I prepared properly for my final year exams. After that, uh, while going to my observership, I started preparing whatever the cases I see there. I used to read about that cases only. So, when need came, uh, I again went on to prepare for general surgery for about one month. So then I scored a rank of 238 in uh, general uh, NEET SS. After that, uh, then again I had to start my starship. So I was not able to prepare for plastic. Hmm. Then last 25 days before this NSS exam, I, I had realized that I have to stop my starship because I want to see where I stand. I want to go for an INI institute. So I stopped my starship there only. Then I weighed my options for what I have to do. I 25 days I divided it like I have already read a little bit about a few topics. So I divided it like 10 days. I will complete all, all the topics as one go in one reading. And then the remaining 10 days I will keep 5 days for one one revision each. So like that I had about 3 readings in total. So like that I prepared for this. So in general surgery, there is no plastic surgery in uh, detail. Sir. So, how did you uh, go through plastic surgery? Uh, sir, actually, uh, I took speed subscription by preparing first NEAT only, sir. Uh, plastic. But I watched very few videos. Like I said, whatever the cases I see in uh, the, way, the place where I go for another, I only saw a few videos about that case only. So, then... Uh, the, in the last uh, 25 days, I watched almost uh, whatever the topics are not covered. I watched all those videos. Sir. Specifically, hand part, I had to watch it like uh, two or three times because I was not able to understand properly. So, you were interested on plastic surgery and uh, and to migrate. Anyway, you will get a rank in NEAT also. Seat in a NEAT SS also, in ESS yes, also. Sir. Yes, sir. And uh, so, you had a mind that it's better to do in the institute rather than in all Actually, when I started uh, going for, when I fixed, like, I want to do plastic, I want to do in an INI institute only, sir. But uh, I was not sure because of some issues, I was not able to properly concentrate on that before only. How many questions did you give? I attempted 74 questions, sir. I left almost three questions of, uh, three to four questions of general surgery and uh, two or three questions of this uh, plastic. Excellent, Doctor. What is the message that you want to give to the audience watching this video? Uh, nothing much. I want to say that uh, everyone says that we have to start early, but I say that we have to assess our position first, like where we are and what we have to do to get through this exam, which is ahead of us. So if you assess the situation and plan properly, I mean, I mean like most of us can make it. Sir. Doable. Yes, sir. It is doable. <laughs> we can't leave it uh, in between like we, we can't do, we didn't read properly and we have not attempted any exams. We can't leave it just like that. We have to give, a, give it a go and 
you to try and see if you can get fit or not see people today they feel neat ss is the most comfortable exam because it's only general surgery based so no, sir. why to read why to read a, a specialty in any ss so there is general mindset for all the uh, uh, people yes, yes, coming sir. out yes sir i have many friends who didn't prepare for rna ina like that like they scored a good rank in uh, need so they are prepared for rna properly in general also they, they yes. have got a good rank and not preparing those who want to only prepare for neat ss is the biggest category today <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like ina most of the questions like almost 10 i felt like 10 to 15 questions repeated from the previous paper so so i think this is the exam where we can guess what questions will come and what <laughs> topics will be assessed properly so i congratulate you for choosing you. Uh, your attempt for any ss as well and i also wish you all the very best as a great career in plastic surgery in days to come thank, thank you sir keep going all the best to you thank you sir thank you very much thank you